Welcome back to 13C. Uh, today we're going to take a look at my kind of EDC pack, a discrete pack that I can carry with me wherever I go, uh, including in a professional setting while I'm on the job, and it's not going to get a second look. Now, a lot of the folks that I work with have some kind of bag as well, because we've all got either laptops, tablets, documents we've got to carry and stuff like that. So for me, I wanted a bag that was multi-purpose, something that would fit in uh, the professional environment and as well be able to carry some of the other things that you know I really want to have on me in a day-to-day -day situation just in case. So this is the ADX 25 from VanQuest. We've had it in for about four months now. Normally even for a pack like this that would be an EDC I'd take it on you know whatever kind of uh, you know spring early summer type vacation we would go on and use that pack during that as well. Unfortunately with everything that's going on right now traveling right now uh, to a lot of our different spots. We just you know, decided to vacation at home here this year, so to speak. So um, not really going out and doing a whole lot just because of everything that's been locked down. Certain things are opening back up, but it, it's a hassle. Not necessarily worried about getting the coof. It's just a hassle. And um, you know, if you guys are watching this during this time period, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If this is a year or two down the road, you may have already forgotten. In any case, <laughs> that's why there's not going to, you know, there's not going to be any of those uh, photos you've come to expect with some of our pack reviews. Um, we don't do a, do a whole lot here, but you know, one or two a year. Anyway, Adex 25. Let's get right into this. First of all, you can see it's sitting up and standing up on its own. It's got a flat bottom. It also has a, a kind of a semi-rigid insert in the back to give it some structure, which is nice. So you can actually set it down, and as long as it's not extra top-heavy, it's not going to topple over. And even right now, with it being as top-heavy as it is, and you'll see once we get in here, um, function pretty well. The exterior is extremely well made here. Um, the overall weight on this pack is 2.7 pounds, uh, and it's 25 liters. It's made up of a mixture of a couple different materials. It's 500D uh, urban blend fabric here. Outer diameter is 18 uh, inches high, 12 inches wide, six and a half inches deep. This is on the 25. The 18, there's a smaller version, Attics 18, which is an 18 liter, which is other than, you know, size wise and volume wise is basically an identical pack. It's just scaled down slightly smaller. I needed the extra room for some of the documents that I carry as well as sometimes a larger laptop. So that's why I want the 25 over the 18. Uh, the 25 will hold up to a 17 inch laptop. I think the 18 will hold a uh, 12 ish laptop. I have, I'd have to check the stats. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this one will hold a 17 inch laptop. And we'll get in here uh, well, right about now while we're going. So uh, they've got Spartan zipper pulls on here. All the hardware are YKK zippers. Uh, and then in the back in your laptop electronic kind of sleeve compartment here, uh, this is also the uh, weatherproofing uh, Aqua Guard from uh, YKK as well on here on the zipper. So it's a sealing zipper um, that's not going to uh, allow easy water ingress. Now it's not waterproof, uh, obviously you can't submerge it, but as far as, you know, if you're walking, you know, across the parking lot or whatever, it gets rained on, at least your electronics in this compartment are gonna be fine, which is good. And it's also got the waterproofing repellent fabric on here. Um, and I'll try and think of that as we go along. More external stuff, we've got your grab handle on the top here, which is pretty sturdy. Uh, you've got your two pack straps on the back. Well, uh, when we get over to the side, you've got two straps on the side here. You use this as a grab handle theoretically if you want. I probably wouldn't go carrying it around with this if you got a bunch of stuff in here. But the primary purpose of this is to put it on your luggage. So if you're rolling something through the airport, you don't feel like having this on your back, you can slide your luggage pull handle through here on both sides and then drag it through the airport rather than having it on your back. Um, that's a nice added feature to, you know, to have thrown in there. Straps are good and padded. They've got mesh where it's appropriate, where it comes along your uh, collar, if it's gonna rub into your neck here, which helps to keep you comfortable. Um, chest strap, which is really nice with, of course, their adjustable height, so you can slide this up and down so it'll come across uh, your upper torso properly. The uh, spring in, uh, springiness, uh, bungee type uh, thing in here for your chest strap so that when you're breathing, you know, if you're exerting yourself and you're breathing in and out heavy, you know, if you're, you know, I don't know, ascending 100 flights of stairs in your office building or something, You've got that going for you, and there's a whistle built into the other side here. Strap management as well, uh, with their uh, little Velcro strap management system that they have, which is good. And like I mentioned in the back, they've got this uh, pad, this uh, inner kind of uh, semi-rigid uh, structure in the back here so that it won't just collapse on itself, which makes it nice for carrying and obviously sitting up uh, as well. And then of course the breathable, breathable mesh fabric in the back. So let's jump right into the front here. <clears throat> so your front pouch here is more of an admin type pouch. You've got a bunch of webbing here to put whatever you want. Now, 
uh, you know, in a professional work environment, I throw in some extra things in here. Normally this would be filled with pens and I would have a light and a chapstick in here. I'd have a multi-tool in here. I wouldn't necessarily in this pocket, since I'm going in and out of it, get pens and stuff out at work. I wouldn't necessarily have a knife or a Glock mag here. I'm putting it in here for uh, demonstration purposes, let's say. Um, inside here, you've got a nice deep full, full uh, width pocket in the back here with two Velcro straps. Um, I find these are good for like cable management. You know, you put uh, you know, your various cables. I always travel with a bunch of chargers for all the different uh, all the different electronics that I wind up going around with. That's a good place for them, as well as the front here as well. So this is a tough mesh, tough mesh, tough mesh uh, thing on here, which is semi-transparent. And what I like to use these for are a couple different things. One is um, also keeping my reading glasses handy. I really don't use these too much. Uh, but as I'm starting to get older at the end of the day, like at a 10 hour, if I'm at work for like 10 hours and I need to read something small, my eyes by the end of a 10 hour day, these cheaters help a ton. Anyway, if you're, you know, once you break that 40 mark, that starts to happen. Um, rather than coiling up my earbuds, I just throw them in here. And one thing that I do really like about this is to be able to keep my SD cards in here uh, together and that way they kind of won't bounce around. They're small where you put them. I've got a little, uh, Velcro, Velcro back thing there that I can use for that hook back thing, but mm, I'd rather just throw it in there um, since generally speaking, this isn't uh, my camera bag. I've actually got a Trident uh, 31 that I really like for a go-to camera bag that I take to uh, industry events and stuff. I think you've seen that before. That I, We did a video on that probably three or four years ago. It's been a while. That bag has seen tens of thousands of miles of travel on it tens of thousands, um, especially now at this point. So the front pouch here, it's 25 liter pouch, but when you put these front pouches on the front, you can get a ton more stuff in here. So we're gonna get into the front here. Now this pouch is deep and it's 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 a, it goes all the way down to the bottom here. And if you peek in here, I'll try and put up a photo to make it easier. So uh, there's three pouches in here, uh, plus there's a big front compartment where you can put something like, this is my normal EDC go-to. This is one of the VanQuest Maximizers. This is one of their, uh, I don't, this is a medium, I believe. It's not. It's definitely not the jumbo. I don't think it's the large. I want to say it's a medium. But I love that one a lot because this travels from bag to bag with me wherever I go. Um, this is kind of my grab and go thing. I'll show you guys what's in here later if you want. Um, I think I did a video on this. Uh, it's been in a bunch of videos at least. So we've got two Glock 31 mags that fit in this pouch here. The next pouch over just because a 30 round AK mag, uh, and then. Uh, on the other side, we've got your standard 30 round AR mag. Now, generally speaking, when I travel to work professionally, um, I'm not gonna put magazines in there. There's power banks, other things that'll fit in there pretty well. Just gives you an idea if you wanna use this as a discrete tactical bag as well, you've got that. And then of course, this big front area that's in front of it that you can put a ton of stuff. Um, you can probably fit the jumbo one of these in here or two of these side by side and still have plenty of room there. Um, again, nice and discreet, flat on the front. If you don't jam pack this thing full of stuff, you know, when you have your zipper over to the side, you may not even realize there's a second front pouch on here at first glance, which again, in a professional environment uh, is gonna be important because you don't wanna draw added attention to yourself or look like you're out of place. Uh, even if you don't have, even if there's nothing in here but work stuff, uh, you know, generally the idea is, especially in a professional environment, you wanna blend in, you don't necessarily wanna stand out. So anyway, we've got our main compartment here and this is the main inner compartment. Now, this is has uh, everything in here is accessories. It's just a loop line thing right here, and then the gusseted pouch will. Uh, this is a sticky cube from Vanquest. We'll talk about that in a minute. I've also got uh, their Velcro holster in here. So let's say if you're going into a facility where you're not, where you're not uh, allowed to carry, or whatever the reason is, and you can't, you can just pull your pull your Velcro holster off of there. Uh, same thing with uh, sticking some stuff in there like a uh, dual mag holder, which these have different uses. You don't just have to put magazines in here. Um, they've actually got some good uses in there if you've got those smaller slimline power banks. Um, I've got a couple of those from Anchor that work really well. Anyway, um, you've got two pouches inside here for water bottles. They'll hold up to a one liter Nalgene bottle. In this one side, I've actually got uh, a little ham radio here small portable one. Um, anyway, you've got buttons on the side there. You've also got your uh, bungee straps here so you can secure the top of it uh, if you've got one of the really tall ones so it won't flop over in here. And like I said, the back uh, and the bottom portion here are not just high-vis uh, orange here, which I really like. Um, it really makes it easy to see in here in dimly lit environments. 
Uh, but it's also, like we said, got your loop on here, so anything that's hooked will stick onto this, just like I said with these sticky cubes or any of the other stuff. It's got another tough mesh pouch in the front here. You can tell I got some bigger, kind of bigger stuff in here. Um, I've got a big hard case for my regular glasses, just in case. Um, I normally, most times, I wear contacts, but uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll wear uh, regular glasses as well. These are actually from Tactical RX. These are their Mad Scientists. These are some really cool glasses. They put all kinds of prescription into all different types of lenses. These are also from Tactical RX. They're the uh, uh, MT Falcons, but anyway, so pack the glasses in here, and this isn't just a pouch, but it's you know kind of got the gussets or bellows in here, so you can fit a bunch of stuff in here if you wanted to. Um, also, an external hard drive right here that I'll need to keep with me from time to time for extra stuff, and also for backing up so that I don't lose the important stuff that I need. Anyway, so you've got a tremendous amount of volume in here, and this is where the maximum, the majority of your uh, of your stuff is going to go. All right, so I was about to show you what's in the back here when our battery pack died. Let's try and pick up hopefully where, where the battery died. So uh, in this back uh, compartment here with your water resistant zipper is where your laptop top and electronics are gonna go. It's also a great place for document storage. So you've got three slots in here. The front slot here uh, goes all the way down to the bottom. You can you know use it to hold binders, uh, folders, uh, legal pads, whatever you wanna put in there. Then this pouch right here, this back on here. Pouch right here, this inner one, uh, or middle one if you will, has your slot for your tablet or other similar size device right here. Um, it goes down maybe about three quarters of the way, not quite down to the bottom. And then in the very back here, this back panel, this back uh, space here is uh, where your laptop is designed to go. So like I said, for this one, 17, up to 17 inch laptop. Um, and uh, we'll put the specs down below or at least link you over to their site so you can see where those full specs are for that. Uh, loop lined in the back. Now, instead of putting a laptop in here, it's getting really popular to throw uh, armor plates uh, in the back of backpacks. And this will take a full plate here. This is a nine and a half by 15 uh, inch uh, level 3A plate. So ready for all handgun armor that slaps in the bottom. Uh, you could also take, if you wanted to in this back slot and didn't want to put a laptop in the back part and want to put it you know, kind of further toward the front, you can put any kind of, you know, your hook and loop stuff in here that you wanted and uh, and do that that way as well. That's completely up to you. For me, we'll throw our armor panel in there and we'll call it, actually, I'm gonna take this back out of here because I wanna at least show you some of this. So even with that out of there and not having the stretch in there, you can see where you've got this semi-rigid uh, portion in the back, uh, which really, which really helps a lot. Of course, now without any of this weight in the front of it, it's obviously gonna be top heavy because we still got the stuff in the, in the front top here. Uh, really quick, um, the sticky cube here is a pretty ingenious little device. I like these um, for putting in like med kits. So that's actually what I have for this one in here is med kit wise, it's got your tough mesh on the, fat, on the front so you can kind of see what's in here. Um, and it's also got uh, a gusset, kind of a gusset zipper here where you can unzip this and it will greatly expand your capacity, almost double the volume in here if you wanted to go that way. Now for me, I, you know, I really want this kind of as small as possible. And you know, this isn't like an actual full on med kit that I'm trying to, uh, to build out here. So the extra space in here isn't really that important to me. And it was already packed pretty tight. I wonder if, I, yeah, all right, I can still put it back up. Anyway, in here are a few different things. Tourniquet, Israeli emergency bandage some trauma pads, trauma shears, uh, some rolled gauze, and a few other things. Just kind of a uh, kind of do it, do it all type of trauma kit right here was still trying to be on the minimalist side of it. Uh, and of course, the inside of this, which this has pretty much everything that I would need in it uh, that I want, everything from an extra spoon to eat with things to start fire, uh, Vaseline impregnated gauze, multi-tool, some spare batteries, uh, Sharpie, uh, you name it, it's in here. Um, some uh, Benadryl and uh, some other, you know, just little uh, odds and ends and extra chapstick in here as well, just in case. Uh, having one of these that you can move from pack to pack or bag to bag, whatever you want to do is really nice in addition to, you know, if you have one or two bags made up, ready to go, at least this can move from vehicle to vehicle, whatever you're gonna do with it, and you have some of that stuff with you. Um, as far as dealing with the rest of this pack here, uh, I think we've pretty much covered everything here. Um, as far as the binding, the taping, uh, the 
strings, uh, string, thread, everything else. Those are all uh, high strength, high tensile uh, nylon webbing, um, as well as the tape. All the zippers on here are YKK RC class uh, or better with these back being the uh, aqua seal here. They are lockable as well. I mentioned the Spartan zipper pulls, I think on here. I love these pulls because at least they're nice and big. You don't have to worry about you know, dexterity wise, if you need to, if you're wearing gloves or something, you can still get into your pack. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, the weather resistant uh, coating on the outside here. Uh, your sides are a 400D. Uh, your, your main stuff on here is 500D and then for added weight uh, savings, 400D. Um, urban blend nylon on here, uh, poly blend. The leather tag on here is nice for Vanquest. So again, it kind of maintains that professional thing. They also make this in a kind of, uh, instead of shadow gray, it's a bluish, um, but like a dark navy blue, almost like a, kind of like an old school dungaree jean type thing, perhaps. Um, it's hard to quantify. I like this because for me, it's going to blend in with pretty much anything I would be doing. Uh, I like the fact it's got the Velcro in there. So if I go into an environment where I can't bring, if I have anything in here that wouldn't be allowed, or I was going into a facility, uh, which I sometimes do where it would actually be against the law to carry into, uh, I will remove those uh, before going into that facility. That way, you know, nobody wants to spend time in club fed, right? <laughs> in any event, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I know there's not a whole lot. We'll put in some pictures of me here uh, with it on my back and stuff so I can give you an idea uh, of, uh, of that. I'm six foot three, about 165 pounds. So uh, definitely on the smaller framed size, basically been this size my entire life throughout everything that I've done. I really don't gain or lose too much weight it's just just how i'm built so uh, at least that gives you an idea if you're looking for this a lot of people get the 25 or a larger frame i still think this works good with me especially considering the fact i definitely have to have that size for the larger laptop um, and it looks good it doesn't look uh, doesn't look off as far as if you're like i am for a lot of these professional settings especially if you're wearing a sport coat um, a decent amount you're not going to wear this as a full backpack uh, and this does work very well with just one shoulder, you know, carrying it with just one shoulder strap as opposed to both. Uh, still rides and carries comfortably. Um, there's no irritation on the neck or anything like that. Um, so I think they did very well. Um, you know, I reached out to Vanquest um, a couple of shot shows ago uh, when I was dealing with a couple of their other bags and I saw them and I mentioned, I was like, hey, you know, I love your packs, but you really need something that's more of a EDC type environment you know, for the professional environment. And they said, you know, we're actually working on something. We, you know, I spitballed a couple ideas with them and it looks like um, they took a couple of those ideas, incorporated them in here and they put in some other ideas that are fantastic that I didn't necessarily think of. So I think they did a great job on this. I like the thought that goes into it. Um, there's, you know, it, it, there's a lot more thought that goes into this as opposed to some of the other packs out there. You can tell, the, the guys at Vanquest really do their, uh, not just do their homework, but you can tell they actually use the products that they make because there's a lot of thought that goes into some of these that, uh, that just isn't there in some other packs. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, 13cgunreviews.com, you can find us there. Uh, we're also on Facebook, although it'd be better to find us on MeWe. Um, we're on Instagram. You do would be a better alternative there. Um, parlor as well uh, you know the big tech companies like youtube are really continuing to censor us and crack down on us be a great uh thing for you to follow us on those other platforms like full 30 and gun streamer as well we've got a patreon if you're interested in helping support us uh there if you're able to do that now would be a fantastic time with all the crazy coof stuff that's going on that's kept us at home and kept us from doing a lot of the day job stuff that we normally do we'd appreciate that we also have a swag shop where you pick up unique patches and stuff like that that you won't find anywhere else uh, as well as some other uh, odds and ends that are unique to the channel as well. We've got uh, 1776 United. This is one of their shirts, but they also make our channel shirts. And uh, if you want to pick up one of those, you can over there. Uh, 7613C will save you 15% off their entire site there as well. We'll put some links uh, down below for where you can find uh, these packs as well, as well as more information on them. And uh, we also have a, a link to our Amazon store down there. That's an affiliate link. Use that. It'll help us uh, a lot. If you're going to shop at Amazon anyway, you can click through our store you know, make us a few cents there. We'd really appreciate it. it. Helps go to support the channel with YouTube completely demonetizing us, removing us from the uh, partnership program and everything else that's going on in the world. We appreciate absolutely anything you can do to help us. Thanks again, everyone. Take care, stay safe. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below uh, or the accompanying articles uh, that you'll find on the various social media platforms. Thanks again. Take care, stay safe. and.
We'll talk soon.